Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. My name is Simon, the Toy Time King. And I got another replay from uh, for you guys, and I'm facing Tack, but he's on his old account called Elo Means Nothing. So basically, he just challenged me up. He hit me up with a challenge. I saw it, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, let me just play. Uh, I never knew it would be such a close battle. I really wanted to show you guys this because it was a pretty tight battle and it's quite fun to be honest. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. And again, subscribe to the channel if you are interested in more content. I'll try and get more replays up for you guys if you guys like seeing my battles and the teams I use. But anyways, moving on, let us start the battle. So basically, I see his team and I'm just like, I faced his team before I lost because I used rain and I got hard countered by this guy, which I have nightmares about. Marsh don't like the guy just beat me up straight easy. But anyways, I bring this new team that I've been testing. Special poly Polyrath is actually pretty cool. But anyways, yeah, let's go into the battle. So I start off with Polyrath, I think he's starting off with Aurorus, but he brings in the Spirit Tomb. I go for the Scold, see he's a solid 4 hit KO and I get the burn. He goes for Willow Wisp burning me. Doesn't really bother me because I'm special Polyrath, but yeah. I swap out into Magmortar, predicting some switch into Togetic. But yeah, I go for Thunderbolt and that just does no damage whatsoever. Togetic is very specially defensive, but still not the best one. But yeah, I bring out Pinsy because I have Stone Edge. But he brings out Marsh Stomp, and at that point, that did zero damage. So I bring out Magmortar again because I have uh, I have Hidden Power Grass. And he knows that I have Hidden Power Grass, so obviously I double out onto Pinter, thinking he's going out onto Togetic. And again, we have this matchup again, and he goes into Marsh Stomp. And I go for X Sizzle, and I get a crit against him, and some decent damage there. I go for me, uh, Z me first, thinking he's actually going to go for an attack, but he goes for rocks. But I do have the plus two speed. I go for X Scissor again, and he rests. And at that point, I'm just like, oh, this thing ain't going to go down without a fight, to be honest. But, anyways, I bring out Magmorta again, because he's asleep. But obviously, I know he's going to bring out Togetic, but I still went for the Hidden Power Glass, just in case he stayed in the victim. That maybe something I was going to do something different. But yeah, I bring out Scun Tank, and obviously, he goes for Dazzling Gleam, which crits me and uh, does a lot of damage there, surprisingly. And. He swaps out there. I know I just want some chip damage on the target. He brings out uh, Marsh Stomp here, and I get and I crunch him, and I get the defense drop, and he's asleep and doesn't can't do anything with that turn. I go for another crunch, and I get another defense drop, and I'm just like, man, I'm hacking this guy a bit too much. I'm going to lie, but anyways, I just leave uh, Stun Tank in there, and he goes in murder, and that does no damage, no damage at all. So now I bring in Mesprit, think he's going to go for some fighting move, and he goes for knockoff, which he probably anticipated the Mesprit switch in. And he obviously swaps out to his Spirit Tomb, think I'm going for Psychic by U turn, knowing he's going to bring his Spirit Tomb. I bring in Pinto, because I know x will definitely kill this thing, because he's got Pro Tomb, because of two trap so. so I get the Moxie boost, and yeah, he brings out Marsh Tomb, and he's not expecting this damage. He's not expecting that damage from plus one. So he goes for the rest again. I think he's going to survive, but nah, it's a solid free hit KO there. So Pinter actually does, is able to take out Marsh Tomp there. And he realizes there that, yeah, I do damage. And I get another Moxie boost on my plus two. Would be really nice if I had the plus two speed, but oh well. He brings in Gerda, and I go for Earthquake, and that almost kills Gerda. I get another crit, unfortunately, for him. But yeah, that does a lot of damage. He goes for Mock Punch for Chip, and then I go for another Earthquake. And that's a plus three Moxie on Pinter. And I was like, oh, can Pinter actually finish the rest of the team? Then he brings in this thing and goes for Sub. I go for Earthquake here. I'm just like, yeah. And yeah, I can kill him next turn. He goes for the Iron Head. I'm like, I survived, but he flinches me. So I couldn't kill this thing. And if I did actually kill this thing, the match would have been a, mo a lot more easier for me. But yeah. He brings in Togetic again, this thing was really good. Uh, Quarter is just Focus Blast, so that's not doing anything. And I'm keep getting the drops on this guy, like honestly, this is the death part. The guy did crit me the previous turn, so I was like, nah, I'm happy, I'm happy. He goes for Dazzling Gleam, which does solid damage to Polyrath, not going to lie. But again, he swaps out to Aurorus, because I was going for the Ice Beam. Could have actually predicted that and gone for Focus Miss, and hit Aurorus possibly, but Focus Miss is Focus Miss. So yeah. So I go for Focus Miss and guess what, he misses. And he goes for the Blizzard that has enough damage to kill me unfortunately. It's our 4 months, so I bring in Magmortar. And obviously I go for Focus Blast and it actually lands this time, so I'm like yes. 
it's game it's a tad bit more easier for me he brings in a, a Lola Slash and yeah Iron Head does not damage to kill me as well so I go in Mesprit and I was like oh Mesprit isn't doing much damage to this thing and he's not doing much to me either. so I go for Healing Wish and bring out Stun Tank Lucky Hail has finished so I do actually get the out speed and I go for Pursuit thinking he might swap out into his Togetic but no he goes for Sob and yeah I just go for Crunch that turn just to do as much damage as I can he goes for Z all out pummeling and doesn't kill me, almost kills me, unfortunately. I do prefer the Ice Z on the Slash, but yeah. Crunch does not kill when I was at Scar and Tank. But after my I was done enough damage to kill. And at this point, it's GG here. I'm running Gunshot on this Primate, so Togetic does go down to the Gunshot, and it was a good game there. Really, really close game. Really enjoyed playing that game, even though I say close game, because I'm not going to lie, it was. I could have lost that game. I could have missed Focus Blast on Magmorta and the game would have been even harder but yeah good game from Tack he's a good player in PU anyways but hope you guys enjoyed this video this will be the end of the video if you guys want to see more replays and whatnot and just more battles in general leave a like down below we we'll really appreciate it guys and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more content we are currently on 11 subscribers I would like to get to 20 soon 20 is a good uh, target for a small channel a very small channel like mine and i'd really appreciate it guys check out my twitter link will be down below in the description you know i again i try to get more active on twitter so you guys can see what's going on like our post schedules or generally what i'm doing in my life and what i'm retweeting and tweeting out on twitter but anyways guys overall thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video